I want to show you the differences between uh, different water pumps for an E46, 330i, uh, BMW. Here you'll see an OEM designed water pump. And here is a modified or supposedly improved water pump. And you can immediately see the construction differences uh, in the uh, bracket here. This one supposedly is the improved version. However, I noticed that the stampings on it is slightly rubbed off or it wasn't stamped on correctly versus an OEM. It's stainless steel or chrome with the stampings here. And I also noticed that the design, even though it's the same for the same model year, an O2 vehicle, the design is different. If you see from this point on, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight reinforcement ribs on the improved pump. And on the OEM, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, there's 9 ribs versus 8. And you'll also see that the ribs are slightly different. Right here above the top of the pump on the curve, this one is fractured, not fractured, but fragmented rib, whereas this one goes straight to the neck. And also, to take a look at the metal impellers now, and just remove this protective mechanism here. Go. You'll see that the metal impeller, compared to a composite impeller, the design or construction of the two are completely different. This is the composite. It's plastic. It sounds kind of metal, but if you hold it and thump it, you can hear it's, it's composite. It's a molded design. The veins here are molded versus metal. Now, this metal is not one piece. It's actually one plate, a stamping of ribs, and then another inner plate, all welded or spot welded, you can see the spot welding, spot welded together to form this one impeller unit. Now if you look closely at the blades of the impeller, it's stamped, and it's rough stamped. As as you look closely here, you can see that it's just a flat end or tip of the blades versus the molded composite blades are sharp and crisp. And unfortunately, I don't think you see on the inside of it, it's also molded flat, sharp, excuse me, sharp. Whereas here, if you could look in here, it just kind of sticks out into the, into the curvature here, the opening. So that's the two main differences that I saw in the design of the impellers. Even though this is steel or a metal impeller, supposedly better, I didn't like the three-piece design versus a molded single piece in the composite. And another thing that I noticed is that it's supposed to be a brand new uh, factory sealed bearing, but it's extremely loose when you spin, when you spin the water pump here. Now I don't know if it's already 
pre-broken in at the factory. That could be a reason for it. But in the comparison here, if I were to spin this, you can see that there's a tighter seal, or it feels like a tighter seal against the shaft of this pump, so it doesn't spin as loose. In my opinion, that, that just kind of confirms that the seals are tighter, which you would expect on a brand new pump.